Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds and I'm a property investor and I decided to document the whole A to Z step-by-step -step process of buying a property and then adding value and refinancing it and pulling out your money. I've been doing this for 10 years and this is how you can take a small little pot of money and you can continue to recycle it, recycle it, buying more and more houses over and over again for free. So enjoy the journey. I've documented everything. It's coming, baby. So I actually found this property on Rightmove and it was on the market for £70,000. Now, because it needs a lot of work, chances are I'll be able to put in a very cheeky offer and it may just well be accepted. So I offered to buy the property for £64,000 and they said yes, which was a little bit of a bargain considering that there's others selling in the street that are exactly the same, but in good condition for anywhere from 85, right up to past 90,000 pounds. I know that Darlington is a very cheap area, but the, ha the rents are reasonably high. So it fits in with my buy low rent high formula. The floor plan looks pretty decent. It's a spacious property, but it is an absolute mess. So the crazy thing is that house there, number 55, which is in the same street, 55 sold for 100,000 pounds in January 2018. This one, this small little red one, number 59, sold for 86,000 pounds April last year. And then, right there, which has the sold sign outside, sold last week for 64,000 pounds. So by the time I've done it up and refurbed it, there's no reason why it shouldn't be worth at least £90,000. Properties are renting out in this street for between 500 and 575. So, so my estimation is that my property will rent out anywhere between 5 and 550 per month. What down there? Good morning, Richard. Nicola speaking. How can we help? Hello, Nicola. My name's Samuel Leeds. Um, I'm just calling. I'm, I'm just on my way to pick up the keys to... Uh... 23 Lawson Street. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure that I do have the keys ready for you, Samuel. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I'm really grateful. I'll be there probably in about 10 minutes or so. I hope that's okay. And um, yeah, yep. that's, that's fantastic. So really excited to meet you guys and I'm really grateful again. So I'll, I'll see you real shortly. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. You know what we forgot? A gift. It's always a good idea to get a gift. I might nip into this petrol station to get a card or something. And some flowers! Perfect. That kind of thing goes a long way because it just show, it just shows that you know you're grateful and just go along. Oh, that's Thank lovely. you so much. That's really kind. You're also it's the fastest completion we've done. Oh. <laughs> Thanks so much. That's no oh, problem. That's amazing. Key there. Great. <laughs> nice to meet you anyway. Thanks so much. Great to meet no you. No problem. And hope to work with you again. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's the total house. I've, they've said that the keys are in the property, so if we let ourselves in the back, and then uh, we'll get probably a big massive bug somewhere. So I'll let you hold on to those. Lovely. Awesome. Keys. So my plan was to buy the property, renovate it, and then refinance it. We call this a buy, refurbish, refinance, which means that when you put your money in, you then later pull it out and you keep hold of the property and you rent it out and just enjoy the monthly passive income. We're in. Doesn't look bad, actually. It's better than the pictures. Yeah. Oh, this isn't too bad. I can see why the quote was low. It's just dated, isn't it? Cosmetic. That's it. Actually, surprisingly good. It looked terrible on the pictures. The pictures made it look so bad. We can, we can get this done in two weeks, man. What colour What colour would they paint them? I don't know. But this, this side has faded because of light. Yeah. This side's darker. Well, what do you think of the boiler? It's a backseat, which is a good mate. It's got good pressure on it. So it's working well? Yeah, it's not losing pressure. It is a combi boiler. Yeah, as long as I get a certificate on it. The way to find out how good the, bo the boiler is, is to see how like, the water is already. Look, Chris, that's already hot. That's good. I took about five or 10 seconds to have it hot. So 
It's obviously the boiler is not bad. And they've got some damp under there. there. But damp, damp down there is normal, isn't it? Because there'll have been a washing machine there. Yeah, it could just be off a washing machine leak. Yeah. It's not like you've got damp on the walls and stuff, just down here where the washing machine is. It, it's low level. Yeah. It's just a shame to have it, to not do it properly. And I think that we want the tenants to move in and we want to get top rev, we want them to stay, we want the value to come into the kitchen. Kitchen is what sells the house. Mm. Because when you come in and you, you know, that property that we just rented out for, for, for 500 pound, Chris, that was a two bed, guess what the front cover was on the advert? The frigging kitchen. Because the kitchen is what sells the house. So we could cheapskate it and we could just paint these. But why, why not just, it's not going to cost a lot, man. In Darlington, everything's so cheap. I think new, ki I think new kitchen and new tiles. They said 4,900, we say 6,000 and we do it really well. That way we get better tenants, we get a better valuation. Because you can't, the, the valuer won't be able to argue if he comes in. If he comes in and we've, we've bodged it, oh, well, don't mind it. You know what? The others that were selling for 100 in the street, they're nicer. So we want to do, I think we want to do it nice. Jeez. It is dated, isn't they it? They said they wanted to leave this in, but it's, nah, man. You could whack a really nice electric fire in there. Yeah. It would all, for about 100 quid, I reckon. The windows are beautiful. Double glazed, good windows. I like the wooden, I like the wooden bays. It just needs new, it just needs carpets and the paint. So it, it, it is an old style fuse box, which again is, is, is not great. But they've put these uh, things in to stop it tripping, these little traps. So, for a single let, what do you think, Chris? I think it'll be fine. I think it's fine. Somebody's already this upgraded is it with those. Yeah, that's good. It's a big bathroom. And you could do with the extractor fan in here. Have they put this on the crop already or not? No. But that's going to cost peanuts, right? Peanuts. You're, you're locking at about 300 pounds. Yeah. Mm. It's not a great shower. Oh, that's better. Is it coming out warm? No. I mean, it's not a lot of money for a new shower, is it? No. Uh, you can get one for under hundred pounds. I think we should get a new shower. Yeah. And that's coming out really hot. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Bathroom doesn't need a lot, does it? New taps, new shower, but just the actual shower bit, not all this. This is okay. That's it. And yeah, it's not going to cost a lot of money at all. Exact same story, isn't it? It is. Just again, do you think it'd be fine painting over this? Yeah. Well, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. It's good wallpaper. It just it's just a horrible colour. I think these are fine, these can stay. It's just carpet, which will be a hundred pounds. And then paint, which in Darlington is also hundred pound. Third room. It's a small room, but you'd it's a it's a child's room, isn't it, or an office? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's been really well looked after mm. by an old couple yeah. who've now moved on. And it's just not been redecorated in 40 years. So you can see this is where we've got damp coming in. It's making it peel. And of course the paper is coming off really easy. These are our team of builders. <laughs> the old folks. So this is the outside of the property. We've just bought it for £64,000. I'm with my property agent. And uh, what, what do you think of the price that we got it for, Harry? Um, you've got the property at steel, um, you know, with the, with the local comparables, with what's been sold in the market nearby. Um, this, the properties are going for in the ex excess of about £90,000. So, yeah. You, know, you can see it in the street. You know, that yeah. one over there sold for £90,000. Mm -hmm. um, just the one a few doors down sold for £87,000, £85,000, yes. something yes. like that. So sixty-four thousand. Yeah, the true you, you'll see the true potential once it's been fully renovated. How, how much do you think it will rent out for? Um, once it's fully renovated, um, you're looking at around five fifty to five seven five from my from my. Great. Right. Because yeah. I was thinking about five hundred, but yeah. but there's a two bed in the same street that's yeah. renting for four nine five. 
So it's, this is a three bed, if it's done right. Yeah, see, the, the, the good thing is, is if you renovate the property and a tenant likes it, they don't mind paying for further 25 or 30 pound a month. Yeah. Do you think the market is pretty buoyant? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, definitely. Especially amenities. Yeah. Um, it's a fantastic area. Great. You, you, you made a really, really good investment. And you're, you know a lot of the valuers out here as well? Yes, um, I know Connells, I know eServe, yeah. uh, Countrywide. I've got all the surveys, um, I'm in contact with them, and they wouldn't have no problem valuing that for 90,000. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Awesome. 90,000, that's, that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, you're this world! Come stand, learn of the edge of this world, and I won't be shut down. All right, I, I think I can hear the seagulls. Does that make sense? Anyway, so far, first impressions is a really important thing because the valuer, before he even walks into the house, is going to have a figure in his mind. I like what they've done on the outside. They've painted it clearly before it was like horrible dirty stone so that's good but i'm not particularly impressed with all the mess that was left outside all these paint brushes and fanta cans i mean come on I mean, when you're paying builders to do the work on your property you don't expect them to leave a mess like this but anyway let's hope that inside is a bit better and that i'm feeling impressed on the inside let's have a look okay Pretty, pretty tightly really. They've put a new, a new fire, which is a lot better. Wouldn't be my choice of carpet, but it looks nice. This is fine. Also, I, I wouldn't have put blinds, I would have put curtains, but again, kind of preference. Yeah, like it? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this. I'm so glad that we went with a whole new kitchen. What can I say? I'd live here myself. Just fantastic. The flooring is great. Absolutely spot on. I love the kitchen. Also, I can tell that it's a kitchen that's been built to last as well. I like this a lot. So much fresher now. Right, let's have a look at the bathroom. Oh man, wasn't wasn't the shower here before? They had an old the old shower was here. We were thinking about fixing it, and then I just said, look, just get a whole new bathroom. And now they've put the to, the toilet. Oh, this is just brilliant. And look, they put like spotlights. This is fantastic. You know, most people, what they're bothered about is having a good bathroom and a good kitchen. And the bathroom and the kitchen, a 10 out of 10. You know it's clean when you don't mind kissing it. This is just fantastic. I can't believe, I can't believe that they've done this for 7,000 pounds. I know initially they were saying five and a half thousand, but then that was before I said, just do a whole new kitchen, whole new bathroom. Like we've upped it a bit. We've put in new things, we've put a, a nice electric fire downstairs, but £7,000 and it's done in two weeks. Just great. Just fun. I, I know at first, when we first walked in, I didn't love the, the colour of the carpet, but I think it's kind of grown on me now. Especially as, I mean, upstairs, it looks, it looks nice. It's all the same, it's all matching. It's just great. I would live here. <laughs> Pretty much everything that could possibly have been fixed and done has been done you know everything has been done and it looks great i am really impressed i think that the rent because it's been done to a high standard i think the rent is going to be significantly higher i mean maybe we'll get 500 pounds a month i can't wait to see what the new value is of this house my guess is the new value is from memory I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna say the value of this is 85,000 pounds and the rent is 500 pounds. In which case, we'll be able to pull out all of the money that we put in, including the money for the refurb, which will be absolutely amazing. So fingers crossed. I think we need to get some estate agents, some letting agents, some valuers down to the property. So I'm gonna make some calls, 
Get some folks out to the property and get a professional local opinion. The refurb on the property is fantastic, it's to a high standard throughout and it would tempt first time, a lot of first time buyers to look at the property. If it was my property, I would actually put it back onto the market for resale. Um, we have a lot of first time buyers looking in that area at the moment. The property's done to a high spec condition, um, ready to move into, so it would probably sell quite quickly. It would probably take, well, as quickly as we could. We know we would have people looking ready to view straight away. Um, so we would hope for a, a very quick turnaround. My name's Michael, I'm a local lettings expert, I work for Bridgefords and this is the type of house that we would want in our books which we would rent all day long. So firstly Michael, what do you think of, of the house? Yeah the property's great, obviously refurbished, it's a really good standard, kitchen and bathroom are really modern, obviously it'll appeal to a lot of people, um, great decor, good carpets, yeah. obviously addition of the conservatory at the back, so yeah really And it's popular. got a garden and stuff as well. Yeah too. garden's always a bonus, yeah. obviously you've got families looking, um, and people with kids, possibly pets, professional couples who want a bit of outside space. So yep, always a bonus, definitely. So what sort of tenants do you think would be wanting to move into this house? Uh, so very typically for this type of house, I would expect to get a family, obviously with it being three bedrooms, and then you've got the addition of the conservatory, two reception rooms. Yeah. Um, you would also look to market for professional couples, um, possibly somebody single maybe who has family in the area, but your main target market is definitely going to be a family who want to take advantage of the garden, a nice kitchen, yeah. good sized space inside. So be brutally honest with me, Tell me about the area. Is it a good area, bad area? Area's actually really good, yeah. It's a very popular area. Um, I don't know if you know the names and things. It's the Harrogate Hill area. Um, so you've got local schools. Uh, it's always been a popular area, traditionally. Uh, traditional houses, f uh, like new builds further up, always really popular, always in demand. So yeah, good area, cool. yeah. If you were managing this property then, would I ever have to come to the house or would you literally do everything? We do everything. You would only need to come here unless you particularly wanted to. Um, obviously as an agency, we take charge of everything. So we offer fully managed, um, so you don't even need to set foot in the house unless you particularly want to. So the killer question then, how much do you think this would rent out for realistically? I think your rent very roughly, as I said the street is quite varied, yeah. very roughly I'd expect to get between 500 and 525. Okay. Um, possibly push to 550 in a good strong market. You'll know in the first week or so if you're going to get that figure and yeah. if not get the price down and expect to achieve between I would say 500 minimum to about 525-ish hopefully. It's not, it's not bad rent really is No it's it? not bad at all. No. Considering the figures? No. You, yeah. <sighs> The only thing you're in competition with is sort of semi-detached houses, um, which sometimes people prefer. So you think 500 would be like a minimum rent? Though, I'd expect yeah. to get that as a minimum, yeah. yeah. I mean, we would guide you, and obviously if the market changes or what have you, mm. obviously we change with it. Uh, I would expect to get 500 pounds, but obviously you are up against how the market's performing. Yeah. So if you were to manage this then, what do you charge to fully manage this so that I wouldn't need to ever come to the property again? Um, so obviously we're a very proactive agent. We'd aim to get somebody in very fast. For an introduction only service where we just find the tenant and don't manage it, we would charge a flat fee of 500 plus VAT, yeah. and that's obviously payable once the tenant's moved in. Or so once basically, about a month's rent. Roughly, yeah, very roughly, yeah. yeah. Okay. For a standard letting service, which is like a rent collect service, or then upgraded to a fully managed service, that would be 450 plus VAT as a like initial setup cost. Yeah. And um, percentage wise, 10% plus VAT for rent collect, and then 11% plus VAT for a fully managed service. So that you do absolutely everything. Fully manages everything, yeah. Rent collect is basically fully managed without the maintenance. And do you deal with things like the gas certificate? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, we do all that. If you were me, would you rent it or would you sell it? I personally would rent it um, simply because long term, uh, obviously you're going to gain more and area wise and market wise, typically you would rent it faster than you would sell it. Yeah. Obviously you never know until you actually try, but typically you would rent it a lot faster. So realistically, how long do you think it would take before this was completely rented out? I would expect... Well, we would aim to get somebody moved in with about a month to two months maximum. Yeah. So I would expect in the first week to have a lot of interest. If we didn't, we'd know that the pricing wasn't right or something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I'd expect to get somebody within about three to four weeks, hopefully. Two months maximum, I would say. And I know your sales isn't your department, but how long do you think it might take to sell this property? <sighs> Very difficult. Um, sales is a lot more varied. Um, that is difficult to say. I'd expect probably... 
within maybe about six months or so, mm. which seems like a long time, but given yeah, the sales just, market, just it's probably not to be honest, but that is a very rough guide. It's interesting that you said you would rent it and Nicola said she would sell it. All right. <laughs> what, why do you think that is? I suppose she wants, obviously, the she does sales, that's what she wants. <laughs> you do lettings. I do lettings. Yeah. You won't go wrong either way. Yeah. Typically, you would find a tenant faster, but having said that, you never know until yeah. you try. So right now I'm standing outside the property and I do really like this property now and I'm torn between two things. Option number one is I can sell the property and considering I bought it for 64,000, I've only spent 7,000 on it. It's now worth close to 90,000. It would give me a nice quick chunk of money now, which I can then reinvest with and do whatever I want with. So that's a good option. But then the other option is I can keep it and rent it out. And if I do that, I'm gonna make a nice recurring passive income on the property and I'll still be able to refinance it and get a new mortgage on the property and pull out nearly all of my initial money invested. You know, I could sell this house, but by the looks of this, there's tenants absolutely desperate to move in to have properties like this in this area. And I think I'm gonna fetch 500 to 550 all day long. You know, people say that landlords are money grabbing and screw over poor tenants. But that's actually not true at all. A good investor or landlord is someone who does their market research in an area, finds out what tenants are looking for, and then gives it to them. You're only gonna make money when you first add value. And this house is beautiful. I'd live in here. So I think I'm gonna rent it out, refinance it, pull as much money as I can possibly back out of the property, and I don't think I'm ever gonna to need to come to this house ever again. <laughs> Fantastic news, the tenants are moving in next week. They're gonna be paying 525 pounds a month. All the references have come in well, and Bridgeford Estate Agents have sent out the AST contract for me to sign, so really pleased about that. Even better news is, this is my refinance acceptance, meaning that I can pull out, get a new mortgage, and pull out all of the money that I put in initially on the property, which means that I'll be able to keep going, buying more houses, recycling the same deposit again and again. I hope you enjoyed watching the journey from start to finish. It takes a lot of time to film these things and document them properly, so if you wanna see more, please do drop a comment below, smash that like button, and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, and you know what, if you wanna do this yourself, and you want to learn about property, I run a two-day property investors crash course and people all the time are doing deals like this one and even better. And I'd like to invite you to come along absolutely free as my guest on the house. And there's a link below in the descriptions where you can get yourself booked onto the property investors crash course and learn how to do this yourself. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I'll see you next time. Working with Samuel has, has been really good. Um, we, well, did everything that a buyer possibly could, um, offered the right price and completed within a really short time scale.